With the advent of a new national budget a little over a month away, the country's economic performance during fiscal year 2013 is the subject of a comprehensive review recently conducted by the Statistical Institute of Belize. The evaluation is a quarterly consideration of various factors which together make up the gross domestic product, including the sugar, petroleum and citrus industries. GDP, however, is relative to an increase in the supply of currency or credit when compared with the availability of goods and services, resulting in higher prices and a decrease in the purchasing power of the Belizean dollar. We saw a continuation of the trend that started in August of last year, where prices started to move at a much faster rate than in the early part of 2013. In January, prices were roughly 1.8% higher than they were in the same month of last year. What were the two items that contributed to this increase? It was largely food and transportation prices. Those aforesaid influences are largely attributable to the fact that Belizeans are spending significantly on bringing in food and fuel from the external market. In the case of food, those prices were up by an average of 4%, transportation 5%. Food was heavily influenced by uh, fresh vegetables uh, being significantly up um, in that month when compared to the same month of 2013. The upward trend can be seen as a result of a growing departure from locally grown produce. Corozal Town and Belmopan recorded the highest inflation rates in 2013. The average cost per pound of tomato is twice as much now than it was a year ago, whereas the price of sweet peppers, cabbage, red kidney and black beans have increased by no less than 20%. The overall cost of transportation is compounded by higher driver's licenses fees and the rise in international airfares. Fuel prices, on the other hand, have remained fairly constant at the pumps over the 12-month period, despite a steady fall in oil production. Crude oil production fell for a fourth consecutive year. In 2009, average production per day was about 4,400 barrels. In 2013, it is just about half that amount um, that, is, that was produced. And it is not because that they are trying to influence prices for the lower production. The reality is that the reserves are being depleted. Right? So that is likely to go down even further um, in the years to come. The plummet in three primary industries within the agro sector undoubtedly affects the country's income as well. The decrease in sugar cane harvest, citrus and banana production in 2013 also impacts on GDP. There were significant falls in sugarcane and citrus harvest. In the case of sugarcane, it was partly uh, attributed to the delayed start of the current crop season. So there was no production um, in November or uh, December. Right? The crop should have started around the third week of November, but you know that was delayed. Citrus, uh, because of the production cycle, you had a very good year uh, in 2012, and normally after a bumper crop, uh, uh, the industry will peter off and then you'll have lower levels of output. And it was also influenced or affected by the citrus greening. The fact that those industries floundered in 2013 is reflected in a decrease in GDP growth rates. The economy constricted substantially from a growth rate of 4% in 2012 to a mere 0.7% last year. Interestingly, fisheries outperformed the construction, distribution, and hotels and restaurant sectors. This industry stood out as the single largest contributor to that 0.7 growth that we saw earlier for 2013. And this was largely facilitated by the reopening of Belize Aquaculture Limited, a large shrimp farm in southern Belize. And as a result of that, export receipts of shrimp um, soared by 81% to $52 million last year. 
Projections for the upcoming fiscal year seem promising, as it is expected that there will be a significant rebound in the sugarcane industry. The factual information used to produce the GDP is gathered from various sources, including production figures from the major industries, as well as organizational data from various government agencies. Reporting for News 5, I am Isanika Etano.